Hi everyone, welcome to this class. In this class, we will see how can we create some customer journeys or user journeys in Figjam. So, well, let's get started and let's see how can we create these uh, user journeys. What we will see, we'll see what is a user journey, what is Figjam and how we can we use it, how can we create an account and uh, create some user journeys as also some storyboards and understand all the possibilities that Figjam has. Well, uh, let's talk about Figjam and Figjam is a, re a real versatile tool. It's a kind of new tool. It's a kind of like the brainstorming tool for uh, of Figma. We will see later Figma, but it's great for diagramming, for doing meetings, for agile workflows, for strategy. But I would like to just go straight to, to Figjam and show you what we can do. Well, I'm here in the fig Figma.com uh, Figjam slash Figma. Fig Figjam, sorry. And here we can see some of the things that uh, that we could do. For example, uh, some brainstorming, some diagramming. Uh, we will use it for diagramming in the way that we can do some um, some um, like journeys or some uh, flow charts. Also, we can use it for workshops, either workshops or workflows, and also some planning and strategy. We'll see that there are a lot of widgets for related to that. As also uh, one of the, the things that I like the most, as I need the one that we will use a lot, it's uh, the flow charts. The flow charts, as we said, uh, there are different ways in, in, in which we can make the flow charts. There are like different symbols. We'll go and review some of them. Also, for example, you could use it for some weekly meetings, for create a customer journey map. Uh, it's a really versatile tool of what you can do. If you want, you can do stand up or create a, many, many th things. And well, uh, with, with this introduction, let's go straight to uh, Figma. Well, let's uh, go to here to the bottom that says try Figma. And uh, in here, you can uh, start with your Google account or you could use an email and a password. In here, I will use uh, my, my Google account and I'm, I'm joining and I'm, I'm starting a new account so it, it's uh, the same the same screen that you will see it's opening and now that it's open i will be able to see the um, here i could put my name my name is pablo what kind of work i do i will put that i will do some user research what i will use it uh, i will use it for teaching or taking a class and what uh, what will be the use that I will have? I will use it for diagramming, uh, whiteboard tools. Yeah, I have used it many times. You could use and here Pigma is free, uh, but uh, it's uh, sometimes it's limited the number of projects that you could do. Uh, so I will just go for the for the Figma for free. Also, there's a, stu a students and educators license, but let's go with the free one. And now we're in Figma. And in Figma, it's, there's many, many things that we can use, but let's start with the interface. Uh, how can we move and how we can uh, see different things? Well, in the, in the, in the bottom, well, let's uh, first close uh, or select this one. Um, let's, let's start with templates. Well, templates are one of the great things that, uh, that Figma has. It's like you could start from scratch or you could uh, select something. For example, uh, in here, I would like to select a template. I will see more templates. And I said that I wanted to do a flow chart. So I will put here flow chart. And as you can see, I could like uh, create or use this template. Here you could see that, uh, that there's many indications of how can I do it. And if I am to move in the interface after I selected uh, one of the templates, uh, I will be able to uh, move with the middle button of the mouse, and if you are uh, using a mouse, or also with a, if you are with a um, with a touchpad, you could use like with the two, the two fingers, or also you could use the hand that it's below to just click and drag, or also you could use the the, the arrow to select the different elements. And if you want to make some zoom, zoom in or zoom out, you could do it with a control or a command in, in Mac and the scroll of the mouse, or also with the scroll of the touchpad. Or also you could do it with, a, with the zoom that it's in here and use just clicks. But well, um, I, I could select any item of the, of, of the interface. Uh, I, will, I will just click uh, with the middle of, the, of my mouse. And here I could with double click edit everything. Edit, 
everything in Figma. Uh, every, well, everything in Figma. I can add every element. Uh, I could add many elements, and here at the bottom, you will see that I could uh, use, for example, the, the marker. With the marker, I could just make some drawings. For example, if I want to explain some idea that I have, uh, I could just like start drawing and I could place some buttons and uh, I could just like uh, drag. Also, uh, uh, it's, it's useful that uh, you could use it in, on, on the web and also use it on, on for example, uh, a tablet and you could draw more, more easily. Uh, also, we have many different kind of shapes. In the bottom, we will have some different kind of shapes uh, that, that we could use. And um, if you want also uh, you, to, to see some of the other options of the market, you could just also use uh, the marker. You could use like some washi tape just to, to like uh, uh, highlight something, for example. Uh, you could also like uh, put, put some, er some of the eraser. You could erase certain elements. These elements also, for example, when I'm drawing, I could also select these individual elements. They are like uh, vectors, so they are really useful. And also, I could change the colors of what I what I draw. Um, well, uh, I could like select also when I'm drawing the size, the size of the of the brush, or select the colors. Also select. That I could select with a with a hex color or also with a with a with a palette. And well, this is some of the options that we have with the marker. I would like to go uh, straight to the sticky notes. That is the second one. And with sticky notes, I could paste some uh, some elements or some like uh, actually sticky notes to put like some observations, like assign pa patient, for example. I, I don't. I didn't like that. I did not. Did not like this and I could put a sticky note with my name so everyone knows that I uh, that I put it or also I could uh, just like uh, unsign it and it's uh, an open note I could also use different kinds of text I could use technical I could use uh, scribbles I could use bold and I could uh, do many many things with Figma I also change the color of the sticky note and um, well, that sticky notes actually is just elements for placing notes in, on my schema. And then it's uh, one of the things that I use the most. It's so this this one of the, of the of the figures that are on the at the bottom. And in here, for example, I could select from many many figures. I could select, for example, a square and place drag and drag and uh, click and drag and just place, for example, some text in here. Text in here. I could also make connections. That's something that I like about it. It's for example, like if I click this square and I just click below, I will make a connection with this one, this one. And then I could go to the right and select next one. And this is a really good option when we're doing a, a user journey or we're doing some, um, some uh, user or UI flow. Um, also, we could place other other shapes we could change the color of the shapes we could make a we could place with with transparency of the shapes we could play with a, with many 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 options for example could choose this one uh, and well I could uh, I could do whatever I want whatever uh, also I could create connections between of them for example if I want to make it create a connection with this one and this one I could uh, create it, and if I click and drag, this one will follow uh, my, my user journey. But well, uh, I would like to start again. I could uh, select everything, click and select, and with a backspace, just delete everything. So I'm, I'm able to, to do this kind of uh, my, my user journey again. Uh, also, we could... Uh, I, I show you that we could use like some uh, some templates that also could be found on the top, but also I could uh, Figma have some any many AI tools. For example, I could uh, also generate something. I could ask Figma to make a uh, make the user journey of a toaster for the user journey for putting a toast 
putting a toast on the toaster. So make the user journey for putting a toast on the toaster. I will ask for generate. Um, uh, generative AI is something it's kind of unpredictable, but let's see if it created. And it, it's a really good approximation. If you see here, I have the, the start. I have to pick up a type of bread. It says the bread slides. If it's not slides, I will like slice the bread. If it's sliced, I will place the bread slice in the toaster, toaster slots. Then I adjust the toast. I, I will also become to a decision. And then I, I will just uh, do it. Remember that there are many symbols that, uh, that we could use. Uh, in the flow charts, there will be like, uh, for example, this, this kind of symbols that could be like the start, the start and the end. Like the arrows will be like the, the part of the process. Also, we could have like some inputs or outputs, and uh, and well, we'll have decisions. Also, if you want to work with many mails or you want to do a more complex uh, user journey, you could. And uh, well, these are some of the options that you could use. But uh, I will start with a uh, with a uh, with these ones. I could, for example, uh, create my own. I will uh, start with us here. We don't have like the. Um, this this one that that we saw in here that it's like the there's like square um, corners uh square <laughs> we will start with that with a circle and here for example i would put my circle and uh i will put it just in here i will just click and drag a circle uh and in here i will put start i will do my uh my user journey for example for the for the staring up, for example, in here I have an image. I, I will click. I could uh, just, for example, to replicate this. I could just uh, make a screenshot of the of this image, and then just go to uh, to make a screenshot with a Windows. You do it with a uh, with a window uh, key, sh Shift and, and S. And if you want to do it with a, uh, with Mac OS, it's Command uh, Command Shift four. Uh, well, then I will go to to the app, and here in the app I will paste my image. And if here I could just start doing my product, I could scale my image. I could also place uh, with with uh, right click. I could also send it to back, uh, send to back, and I will start doing my prototyping of the user journey. So here I will start. Then I will put a, a square. Uh, so the next step is to buy some. Um, I buy some. Uh, this is the the steps for buying some some light bulbs or to to set up a light bulbs in, a, in on your home. So in here I will just like put buy light bulbs. Then I will just create the next one. I could put it in here, uh, or. or I also could create a connection between between these two. Uh, then I will see that the, I will open the box, open the box. Then I could uh, I could put the next one. I could also could click uh, Alt and drag, and I could create another one. Uh, here I will delete this connection. I will put that I read instructions, read instructions, and I will start with this uh, with this process. Also, I could uh, I could lock certain elements. For example, I don't want to, to be moving this image. I just want it to be locked in place. So I will just click it, and now it's locked. I could select it, but if you see, it's locked. So now I'm not able to move it. So I will read instructions. Then I will just Alt and drag. I will install, install like bulb. Then make the connection with this one. And I will repeat it until I get to the next one. Uh, that will be the download app. Uh, I will download app. Then I will just go to the to the decision. For example, I could uh, go here and click and look for the diamond. And in the diamond, I will uh, ask if it's blinking. If it's blinking. Uh, if it's blinking, uh, I will just go below. And if it's not blinking, I will just go back. For example, I could make a connection to here. Also, I could move my connections. If you if you don't like the position or you have like some something in the middle, 
You could also like uh, move move the connections. Uh, for example, I could put it um, up or above or to the right to the left. It's a really versatile, a really versatile tool. And in here, I could put the next one. And that way, you could create many the user journey as long as you want. So it's that's it's really useful. Also, uh, to just show you some things that also it's um, really usable when you are doing more, you are crafting your ideas. It's to use mind maps. For example, I could uh, here I will talk about uh, user journeys. Uh, user journeys could be related to personas. The personas could be the one that will test the apps. Uh, in here, I also could uh, talk about like a the flow charts and when i talk about flow charts i could ask i could talk about like squares uh, squares i could talk about also circles i could talk about uh, diamonds and that way you could create a really long uh, mind map and you could move it uh well that's uh, the, the elements that we have been using uh the next one it's uh text you could place text just like text in here and you could move it without the need of having uh, some shape it was a uh, uh, text shape and now i want to uh, be able to uh, move the whole elements as, as this one for example the, the flow chart that created figgen it was this one uh, if you notice it's inside a square uh, that square is called a section and it's the one that it's next to the text the section will allow me to click and drag and place all the elements that are inside in inside a section. For example, I could I could put this my user journey, the one that I, I made. So I could have many user journeys. And uh, I, I have like kind of not infinite, but I have a lot of space for prototyping, for placing my ideas, for drawing and uh, making connections or just being collaborative and ask like, what, what was this? It's like, I could, I could send this link to, to my, my, my peers and they could, they could be able to, to check it out. For example, in here, I, I will make that out. Uh, anyone, with the, anyone with the link will be able to edit. So in here, I will send the link to myself and uh, I will just start editing on, the, on my other account. I will just go to my other screen and you will see that I'm joining on my personal account and you will see that I'm in here. Pablo, Pablo, it's uh, in here. You could click to follow me uh, and in here you will see where I'm going. For example, if I'm exposing or I'm, I'm just on a video call and, I, and, and then I, you will see everything that I'm, that I'm drawing. Also something really useful. It's, you will see here at the bottom when you like uh, move this one, you will be able to say hello. So if I make that also in my screen with, with my palm, I will be able to say hello. So in here you, you can see that I, I could like greet like you uh, and I could uh, work collaboratively with everyone. Uh, I, I'm not sure the, the quantity of, per, of people that could uh, meet on a call, but it's many people. So I think it not, not will be a problem. Also, if you need it, you could place like some tables, like a, like a spreadsheet. You could place like also some stamps. For example, if you like this drawing that I made, you could play like some stamps. You could place many things. You could place, uh, for example, my, my logo or my image. Uh, the stamp will be just like a recognition. You could also use some, some emojis uh, or you could like so you, it, this for more like a workshop to show some love. And now let's go to something that is really interesting about Figma, or Figjam, sorry. Figjam also have the, the opportunity to use some widgets and some, um, well, templates, widgets and plugins. And let's talk about some of the plugins that we could make, uh, what, what we could use. These uh, templates are the ones that are made by, by community also. So let's talk about first widgets. Widgets are elements that are uh, made for integrating other tools. For example, here are some uh, widgets that I like. I like this one that it's the Giphy sticker. And for example, I could uh, I could search GIFs for, for example, the word dog. 
uh, I will look for great. I would like to say that it was great. So I will just look for a GIF for GIF for the for great. And here you will see that I could import uh, this one as a GIF. If I paste it as an animated GIF, I will just like double click it. And now I placed a GIF and it's like playing in there. So I just like uh, could like size it. I could uh, place many things. Uh, it's uh, connected to a database of GIFs. So you will be able to search for many, many, many GIFs. Uh, another one that I like, it's uh, something that it's also for, for workshop, but it's for example, the one that it's dice. It's like, imagine that you are like playing or want to, to make a raffle to the participants. You could play a dice and in here, Every time you click it, you will have a new number. Also, I like the, the UI flow. If we go back to the, to, users, uh, to the user journey, for example, I'm here uh, creating my, I, I will delete these ones. I also could delete my, my, my image. Uh, I could like, uh, I in here could delete it with uh, selecting it and deleting and in here, you will notice that I have like my, my user journey. I will just like connect this one. Uh, and in here, I will use one that it's really useful, that it's uh, called the UI flow. The UI flow will allow us to, to see in the, user, in the user interface what interactions will be needed. So in here, I will just click this one and you will see, for example, the screens that I will need. For example, in here, I don't need any, any screen. Uh, in here, I don't need any screen, uh, but in here, well, I download the app or I just put like a open, I will just put one that it's in between, that it's open the app, open the app, open up, open up and log in. I will just put this, this uh, two additional steps, uh, log in. So I will put this one and in here, for example, the, the UI will be the UI of the, of the welcome, UI of welcome, well, welcome screen. Which kind of interactions I will need in here? Uh, I could put here a loader if it's loading. I also could put another interaction that could be like a login, login button. And if I click the login button, I could, I could redirect my user to another interaction to, or to another screen. Here, for example, I could create the, the UI for the login, login, login screen. And in here, I could uh, put the username field will be kind of interaction. It's a field, sorry. And in here, they will write. And while they write, if they will be red redirected to something else. But this way we could have like many interactions that could lead us uh, to the creation of some other screens. Uh, for example, I could have like, a, if I have also like a register, I will have a register screen. So uh, in here I could create another, I have a login screen. I have a, in here, a register screen. And in here I could like uh, have a button that it's uh, the one that, uh, that will re redirect me to the click button that will redirect me directly to the uh, setup. So that way you could also create the, the user journey and it's really, really useful. Um, to, and now let's go to the, uh, show you also some, some plugins. Some plugins, uh, the plugins are useful to, um, let's go, I will delete this one. I will do it at the bottom. I will just go to the bottom and let's go here to plugins. And in the plugins, I could search for different ones. Uh, I would like to show you some of the um, useful for workshops could be, for example, the to do one. I could, uh, I will close this, this screen. I could make a to do list that everyone will be able to see. For example, I will need to for, for this class to create my user journey that I already did like, well, not really complete. Uh, I will need to use my UI flow. 
and then I will need to create, a, um, for example, my storyboard. I will create my storyboard using the elements that I already done. Uh, for example, in here, I will show you some of the story journey, so a storyboard that I like. For example, I could now also uh, make a screenshot, paste it, paste my storyboard in here. And with the storyboard, uh, I could also, for example, use it as, a, as an image, or I could replicate it. I could replicate it, and uh, in here, for example, I could uh, start prototyping with a with a giphy one. For example, the user it's really mad because uh, in, the, in the the persona it's in here. I will I will do it with this one. That it will be easier. The persona will be Brad. I will go smaller. Brad. Brad. Uh, is this user story? It's the light bulb uh, and disability. Uh, disability. I hope that uh, you use text that it's uh, like both disability. I, I could have been a medic, I think, with uh, with my letter disability. And I will put it in here. I will just delete my text that I made by hand. And I will just also put it in here. And for example, I could put uh, some with some GIFs or with a widget of GIF. For example, I could put that Brad is mad. For example, I will search for a Giphy and I put two, I could put just like that, that Brad is mad. I will look for mad and Brad is mad. So I will just double click and I could put an image in here. Sometimes with just a click, with just one click, it's enough. So Brad is mad and I could put, put the text in here for example, Brad was mad because he was not able to turn off his light bulbs. Um, there it is. If I want you that, that text to fit in there, I could just like make it fit and I could make the text uh, small. Or I could also make it smaller if I want. For example, I could look for a 14. If I don't like the 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 lines, I could also make them. I could I could look for a hidden for a for a line or a connector. Uh, I think there is also a way I could just use a line. I could just use it like this. And if I select it, I could delete. The, I could make it just straight line. And that way I could make my, my, my own lines. Uh, well, and that way I could make also my storyboard. And if I wanted, for example, to create my own, uh, my own interface, like for example, with just this image, I could make it also with just elements of the, of the, of the screen. For example, I could make it just clicking and dragging and making my own lines. I will just uh, unlock this this one so I don't have problems connecting. I could zoom and have like a, I also could use a, the arrow keys if I want more precision. And then moving these elements, I could just click, drag, and then make it again. That way, I have now my three elements. I could click, uh, shift click, and I could select all of them. And I could alt and drag and make the second one, alt and drag and make the third one, alt and drag and make the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one. Now I could uh, unlock my screen and uh, I could put like also the text, for example, in here for the persona and all the text that I want. So now I have uh, my screen that I made and I could uh, also put it inside a, uh, a section. So it could be like a, a screen. Uh, and that way I could also replicate this like uh, the page one of my storyboard 
and then I could create, I uh, just click and drag and make the page two of my storyboard. And that way I could create a whole storyboard really easily using also my icons and my personalized uh, interface. Um, also, uh, I'm going uh, going to the to the plugins. The plugins has uh, many many options. Also, for example, uh, if I want to to create now the UI that I was uh, doing in here, for example, let's let's say that I want to create the, um, this this download app uh, button. So I could just go, for example, for the um, for the um, call, I could I could use for example wireframe. Wireframe. Remember that wireframe will be like the the essential, the essential of the of the of the user interface. Like a, it will be really really rough. So let's wait for it to load, and I will just uh, look for Play Store or App Store. App Store. Um, it will not show me some of them, but I could look for wire, uh, mobile wireframes. And in here, I could get like one of them. For example, I could uh, look for one that fits my needs. I will just go for this one. Uh, let's go. Let's go for a, for a blank one. I, I think I, I, there is like a some basics in here mm. or just like a uh, wireframes here these are more like web you could like explore it uh for example here ios mobile here i just click on uh, drag and use this phone and for example i could just make this the screen i could like uh, use my my pen and the color black and start doing like uh, some 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 of my my rough ideas and talk it with my friends also and collaborate with them also i could uh, for example i could put this one for for a video i could just like uh using my drag and drop i could put this one for a video and uh or the register you will see some video and you could like uh, make this this kind of screens, and you could click and drag. Uh, it's really easy. You could explore the different the different things that you you could find on uh, on on wireframe. As also, for example, you could use one that it's uh, really useful if you want to use certain icons. There's one that it's called Iconify. Iconify. Icon. Iconly. Sorry. Iconly. Iconly Pro, for example. I can only uh, here it is. I will press run. It will run accordingly. And for example, I could search for the uh, I'm, I'm looking for the download button. So uh, I, I did not spell it well. Download download button. Uh, download. What I'm, I don't know what I'm writing. Uh, and in here, for example, I could search for different kind of uh, buttons, but I, I think that uh, the one that I like, it's this one. And well, these are pro, pro buttons, but I could just click the free ones and click and drag and use it on my, uh, on my interface. So now I have my, my user journey, I have my UI, my UI, uh, the needs for the UI screens and interactions. And also I could start to prototype really roughly some of the wireframes that I want. Uh, we will see also that uh, op there are other options for prototyping on, uh, on Figma that will be more useful. So uh, with this, it's uh, uh, the things that you will need to create. It's uh, to create your own storyboard, to create your user journey and your UI interaction. And that way, uh, it's uh, the things that you will need to, to create, and you will need to be able to share them with me. Uh, to, to save the files, in here, you could just put the name. And for example, I could put here my user journey, Pablo's, or Pablo's user journey. That way, I could be able to uh, see it. And also, uh, when I'm like uh, reviewing it, 
I will be able to place just some comments like this is not really well uh, placed. So now I will put some comments and you will be able to see what I what I have done and what I what I just uh, checked. Also, you could like a uh, search for for the options for Figma in here uh, and uh, your your files will be saved in the in here. For example, here is my my, my file. It's Pablo's user journey. If I just double click it, I will be able to go again on my user journey and uh, then start again. Also, if you want to share it, you could do it as I did it. And please be uh, check it out that uh, when you share a file, you share it with a um, with a with a incognito, or you check it out in an incognito window. Because if I'm not able to open it, it will be it's like if it, you didn't not deliver it. Uh, well, and then if we go back, uh, this is also the Figma, the Figma files, and we'll start seeing in the next lesson what we could do with the Figma files. So uh, that's all for this lesson, and I hope that uh, you get the, or you're able to do your user journeys.